Hello everyone, we are continuing to creating the pathway in Rhino and Grasshopper. This is second tutorial. The If you didn't watch the previous one, the first one, please watch it before you uh, continue the watching the second one, because maybe you will find some answers on your question in previous tutorial. Uh, and of course, uh, if you are interested in which plugins we will use uh, for the Grasshopper, I will leave all the plugins below the video. You will see what I'm using for the Grasshopper. Today we will add one more plugin. So the first plugin, what I'm interesting for it. Here we're going food for Rhino, and we are interesting the plugin. It's the pathway. Pathway. Let me I will use the just the pathway and let's uh, or let me change walk. It's calling the shortest. Uh -huh, it's here the shortest walk. I'm interesting this one. Uh, this actually this uh, the working the same, but I'm using this one. The short shortest work. It's a really old plugin, as you can see. It's really for Rhino 5, but uh, the shortest work doing really only the one function. So here is the nothing to upgrade. Download it, install it, and that's it. Uh, once you will install it, of course, uh, here under the more you can see how to install it. You already see how it's working. Uh, after you will install it under the curve, you will find this small button. It's not will be another tab. It's just here will be another button. Okay, here so we did it. Everything alright, and also we need the plugin the human. Let me I'll go back and I write here the human. Uh, he human is just optional. Uh, you can download it or you cannot, so it's here. It's just to better working with the graphics, uh, with the line. Okay, there here also inst some inst information about this plugin and here how to install it, you will find it too. Here, how to install it. It's really simple, here is nothing special, that's why I'm not uh, spending your time for that. If you have any questions, uh, ask below the video, we will try to help. Okay, so once we we already uh, uh, the last time we already loaded our OSM file file here shape file, and we get our uh, map here. So this is pretty awesome, but this is actually the road. If you remember the in the previous tutorial we did uh, the buildings too. So let me I will separate it, and we will we will select this part, and I will create the group. Let me I will create the group here and I will create the group here. So this group it will be just selected, right click and here the click and change the name. Here is the will be road. And here is the will be building. Okay, and here we just need to change the path. Right click, select the, the axis and here is the building. We are exported SHP file. That's okay. And here is the building, as you can see as well. So we have the building, we have the roads, pretty awesome. We can continue. Actually, we will continue now with the, of course, the with the roads because the most important for us it's roads right now. Uh, first, first of all, let me will see what we have to inside the, the inside the P line. We have, as you can see. Um, separated line it's not like one list it's separated list it's like list one list two list three so it's not working for us we need get the flattern like on one list for you it's maybe uh, you will see it's like nothing but you need just the one list be careful with that after that let me i will explode it because maybe some lines not uh, exploded, maybe some lines we have like a polyline, like like one line going crossing all the way. It's also not working for us. Let me I will connect curve here, and now I will connect this is with the line. And as you can see, we separated our lines segments. Okay, right click here, and I don't want to see what's going on here because here is a lot of the data. Okay, so after that we will st we uh, can start already use our shortest walk, so it's already time for that. Uh, let me I will use this node. I will place it here. As you can see, it's waiting the data. As you understand, uh, the this data will coming to the here, and don't forget here is also should be be flattern. And as you can see now, it's the again one list. 
And here we just need uh, the right uh, our point from where we want to walk. I already I, I here already placed it two points, but I will delete it and let's place place it again. Here in Rhino you can see here that we can place the single points like I will put. For example, I wanna get the road from this point to this point. Well, somewhere here. We did it. So now we need to create the um, here the node point because we wanna select these points inside of the grasshopper, right click, set and multiply uh, points. And as you can see between these points, now we get the line. It's okay. So uh, after that, what we need? We need now item. We need itemize, let's say uh, itemize will help us understand where is the um, point one, where is the point, uh, where is the last point, where is the start, where is the end. So it's working like this. Oh, sorry. Set multiply. Now it's now it's here. Reference point. Wait for. Actually, it should be. Let me even manage the data. I will delete all the data manually, because as you can see, it's four here. It's un, It's un, in, uh, unbelievable. Multiply points. Oh, now it's everything correct. Two points, as you can see. Because, uh, I understand. I selected it. As you can see, I selected in in Rhino, and that's why it's automatically selected here. Okay, so as you can see, we have the point one and point two. Here is the start, here is the end. And we need just separate it. We need for that item. Item. List item. It's here. And let's, let's scroll it till you not, not will see this is plus here. Click on that, and as you can see, it's item one and item plus one. It means here is the zero index zero. Here is the index plus one, so it means one. If we will connect our points here, look what we get. Index uh, i, actually this is zero. We get the first. So I will show you like this. Here is the, our first one because we have the index zero, index zero. And we're taking here the index zero. I actually equals to the zero in this case. So here I will be equal to the one. So here is the one. It should be equal to the one. And that's why this one become here the one. It's I'm not understand. Uh, I understand you not understand now anything, but I will show you what's going on. Let me will connect. And here is the. Uh, here is the index zero, but uh, believe me, this is this one point here. Okay, so we did it. I will do like I, I will delete it. You don't need it. And now we need to uh, get the line between this point and this point. Once we will create the line, you will understand everything working. Ln. This is a line. Let's connect point one and point two. Let's select it, and as you can see, here is the line. So we did everything. Right, because here is our start, here is the, our end, and that's why we can create the line. Now this line we should connect to the uh, pathway. Let me will connect it. We did it. Let me will select. You cannot see anything now on the, your screen. It's uh, correct. But once you will select your short west walk, you will see this is green line, which is your pathway. So as you can see, it's working. But uh, that's why I said uh, you, um, it's optional, get uh, the human or not. I mean, install human or not. Because uh, right now I cannot see uh, anything, and that's why I will use the human to make it more uh, visual understandable. So for that one, we need the preview. This is not fro from the human, so you should install it. Sorry, guys, I, I will repeating it because... Uh, uh, I understand you will asking me where I can get this node. You need to install the node human. Uh, okay, preview. Preview. LV. Preview line weight. So it's really easy. So we have the line. It's here. Under the V, here is the lines. As you can see, here is the locally poly curve. And we will connect here the line to the G. Okay, and as you can see, now it has some another color. Let me change the color. I will use the swatch. Swatch. Swatch color. 
And let's change the, the another color. Uh, for example, I don't know the blue one. Let's say it will be blue. I will connect to the S. It's uh, it's calling the uh, shader. And as you can see, now we have the another color of our pathway. Nice. But <clears throat> still on the our map, our map it's huge. It's not uh, uh, it's not so useful. We should change the thickness of our line. To change the thickness of our line, we should change it here because by default it's uh, around 0, 0,1, yeah, if I'm not mistaken. Let me, I will create the uh, slider, number of the slider, it's here, and we will change it from the mm, 0, not, let's do from the 1 to the 10. No, 10 is not too much, no, it's okay, it's, I will leave it on, on the 10. Let's say okay, let's connect it to the thickness. As you can see now, nothing changing, but once I will uh, move my slider to the right side, as you can see, it became more huge and huge. So right now it's really huge, and now I understand where is the, my pathway, and it's working. And of course I can change here the color, for example, like this, as you see. Let me leave it something like that, and we have the working our shortest work. Okay, Short, shortest work showing us the, the way, but once you will change it, so what's going on? Let me will go back to the Rhino. Where is the my dot? I wanna select my dots. Oh, I don't know why. S uh, select your dot. If you don't have the gimbal, switch it on, it's here. So if you don't have uh, this type of the gimbal, you will find it here. You should switch it on. Okay, and let's change the position of the my dot. Let me will place it somewhere here. And as you can see, my pathway changing, changing position. I will change it here. It changing position, changing here, and we have the distance of. Uh, we we changing. I mean the distance of uh, the way. Okay, and as you can see. You spend like 12, 20 minutes and now you can create your own Google map uh, or something else like a Google map, I don't know, like uh, Apple Maps, something like that. And now you can easily find uh, your way to the from the point 1 to the point B. So guys, for this tutorial I think it's pretty enough for you. Try it, use it, uh, play around with uh, this map create another map, use it here, but don't forget one thing, the shortest work working exactly on the line. If, for example, it's impossible to create a way to the, uh, for example, to here, you have the line, as you can see, but it's not going till here. The shortest work will find nearest line where it's ending, here. It's not, it's not we'll find, for example, if the, I don't know, here we have, have like high hidden the way, it's of course it's not we'll find it shortest way here, because we don't have a line, physically we don't have a line. So, uh, to get more realistic lines, uh, ways, uh, you should work already with uh, QGIS. Once you will get a really nice uh, map from the QGIS, you will get better uh, result in Rhino with the shortest work. Thank you guys for watching and see you next tutorial where, we'll, we'll, where we will continue working with the Rhino and Grasshopper and I will show you another thing.